So, you've seen those jeans, you know. The must-have ones that you have wanted for ages. And they're in the sale. They only cost ten quid. Or do they? The thing is, denim is made from cotton, a very thirsty crop. To grow enough cotton to make one pair of jeans takes about 10,000 litres of water. That's a small swimming pool to you and me. Cotton is very often grown in dry areas where water is scarce and so diversions are made to rivers and lakes for irrigation. For this reason the Aral Sea in Uzbekistan has almost completely dried up, leaving local people in poverty and many dying of cancers and lung disease because of all the chemicals used on the cotton crops. To make things worse, children are often forced to pick the cotton at harvest time. Some of the pesticides used on cotton crops are seriously toxic. A tiny amount of aldicarb is enough to kill someone. And they're spraying this stuff on the cotton crops, often in poor countries where people are offered little protection. Around 25% of all the world's pesticide use is on cotton. The raw cotton is then transported from all over the world to countries like China, using up precious fuel and polluting the atmosphere. More seriously toxic chemicals, including synthetic blue dyes, are used to create denim. Chemically saturated and toxic waste water is pumped straight into rivers in places like China, often changing the colour of the water. The World Health Organisation estimates that polluted water causes 75% of diseases in China and over 100,000 deaths a year. And then there are the sweatshops, where workers, sometimes children, work for over 12 hours a day, often seven days a week, in conditions that would never be allowed in the UK for a wage that is not enough to live on. Oh, and then of course none of us want to wear plain denim. To get that must-have look, it needs to be faded. Stonewashing is popular and, you've guessed it, uses even more water and fuel. But sandblasting, that's a real killer. Young men in poor countries have to blast sand from a machine against the genes with inadequate protection. This causes a disease called silicosis and they die from it. Sandblasted genes are literally genes to die for. Another long journey back to the west using more fuel and your 10 quid bargain jeans are on the rail for you to buy. So you buy them, wear them a bit, and then what? You chuck them away. They are sent to giant rubbish tips called landfill sites. 30% of landfill is now textiles. Our country is in danger of becoming a giant rubbish dump. OK, so you get the picture. Your jeans cost a lot more than 10 quid. The human and environmental cost is very high. Well, I can't do anything about it, I hear you say. Actually, you can. You can start asking questions. Write out an email and get your parents to send it to some of the clothes shops, asking about how they protect the people that make their clothes. If the shops get the impression that enough of us care about this, then they will do something about it. Buy better quality jeans and less of them. Alter them when the fashions change. Swap them with a friend if you grow out of them or get fed up with them, or take them to a charity shop or a recycling bin. Wash your jeans at 30 degrees on a shorter wash cycle and air dry them. Look out for fair trade clothes. These guarantee workers a fair wage and working conditions. Organic too. No toxic chemicals are used to make organic fabrics. Be creative. Use the denim from your jeans to make bags, cushion covers and other original textile products that are unique to you. Remember, reduce, reuse and recycle.